Okay, so maybe I'll start. Hello, everyone. My name is Feng Feng from the School of Microelectronics, Tianjin University. Uh, so it's a great honor to be here to introduce the School of Microelectronics to everybody. Uh, the title uh, of my introduction is the start the journey of integrated circuit design. So the, the outline of my introduction contains three parts. The first is the introduction of the our school, and the second is our postgraduate programs, and the third is our scientific uh, scientific research. So uh, nowadays the uh, microelectronics uh, technology becomes more and more important as uh, it is a the fundamental of the information era and also the artificial intelligence modern society. To support this, the integrated circuit industry is like developing rapidly. The development of the integrated circuit industry has gradually become an important indicator of the country's economic development, scientific and technological progress and the national defense uh, capabilities. So in order to realize the national integrated circuit development strategy and provide trained talents, our School of Microelectronics uh, of Tianjin University uh, was born. So the School of Microelectronics was born in uh, September 2015 in response uh, to the needs of our country. And the history is shown in this uh, slides. So the history of the School of Microelectronics can be uh, traced back to the de Department of the Electrical uh, Engineering here, so which was uh, uh, established in uh, 1930s and in uh, the previous Peiyang University. So in the late uh, 1950s, Tianjin University established and uh, the 618 semiconductor factory, which mainly uh, served the country's project. Uh, in the mid 1960s, it began to uh, recruit undergraduates uh, with the improvement of the national key discipline of the school of the microelectronics and the solid state uh, electronics. Uh, very good fund, uh, foundations has been uh, laid for uh, the continued development of the first level discipline of electronic science and technology. So here is the slice of the introduction of our faculties. So after the years of development, the School of Microelectronics has uh, gathered the famous teachers and the experts uh, with a high level teaching and research team. The students can not only obtain uh, good knowledge transfer in the theoretical teaching and also receive high quality practical application guides here. Uh, rely on our national uh, discipline, uh, the first level discipline, which we'll introduce a little bit later, uh, of the electronic science and technology. The school has established a doctoral program also and a postdoctoral uh, mobile station of the electronic science and technology. So, uh, uh, the microelectronics and the solid, uh, solid electronics and uh, also the electromagnetic field and uh, microwave techniques. So, at the same time, we have two graduate majors, uh, which are a national first uh, a class major. So, currently, they are uh, 11 international students who are studying for a master degree or a PhD degree in our school. Uh, so this this slide shows the uh, our uh, postgraduates of our uh, school of microelectronics. You can see uh, this is not the uh, only the, the the international students. So they are all the students from uh, the full time and part time. So you can see the master student currently is around five hundred and around uh, one hundred, and there are also part time students. Uh, so uh, here's the master graduate data and uh, post and uh, the, the student uh, graduate data. As you can see uh, from years. So our uh, employment is very is very high, so like over ninety percent. So here is the the discipline program previously I briefly introduced. So here is the detailed slides. So our 
we have the, our first level and second level discipline program. So the first level discipline program is called electronic uh, science and technology. And our second uh, secondary disciplines uh, includes our PhD and master degree programs. So they have the PhD and master degrees in uh, three disciplines. So first is circuit and systems, and the second is microelectronics and solids electronics. And the third one is electromagnetic field and the microwave technique. So uh, currently, so this is, uh, I also uh, briefly introduced previously. So currently we have like 11 international students who has the master's or PhD degree in our school from various uh, countries uh, such as near Congo, Tanzania, Ghana, Pakistan, and Central. So our uh, postgraduate uh, program is shown here. Uh, there's, this slide is a briefly introduction of the first, uh, uh, firstly intro introduction of the PhD program. So our PhD program, uh, we have four year program. So that means you need to uh, study in here in four years. So in the first year, you need to take courses, uh, and uh, for the following three years, you need to do in the you need to do the research and to meet the requirement of our uh, PhD program. So the graduate. Graduation requirements shown here. So the total credits are not less than 21 credits, including 14 credits for course study and seven credits for compulsory training. And also you need to do research and to publish uh, the papers to meet the requirements. And the compulsory courses uh, has three parts. So uh, we have more actually. So uh, for example, we have the courses like uh, advanced uh, uh, electromagnetic theory, and we have the uh, courses uh, titled as artificial intelligence and circuit systems. We have also the course like uh, uh, analog and radio frequency integrated circuits, and we have also uh, many more uh, courses. Uh, it's not listing here, so we have more courses for you to choose. So here's the brief introduction of the master program. So the master program is currently 2.5 years. Uh, so the graduation requirement is uh, is shown below. So the total credits are not less than 28 credits, including 20, 23 credits for course study and five credits for uh, the compulsory training. So here are the, also the courses uh, in the master programs. So here is the syllabus for the PhD program and master program. So uh, if you want to have more details, uh, pictures you can uh, talk to our uh, teachers in our school of microelectronics. So we have the detailed PDF files. Uh, you can take a look. So uh, currently uh, we have totally English version of our programs. Uh, so the courses are more and more uh, specific for our international students to take. So it's uh, more and more uh, professionals. So here's I come to the third part. I come to the scientific research. So uh, is this our school of focus on the frontiers of the international scientific knowledge development in our in the microelectronic area and the major national strategy needs uh, the the main battlefield of our national economy and to carry out the researches on the frontier frontier fundamentals and the major engineering technology. So it's our uh, major uh, major focus. So uh, we have fo formed uh, many advantages advancement advantagement uh, in the research research direction of many uh, research directions. So uh, I will introduce one by one later. So, uh, so in the past uh, five years, this, our school has undertaken uh, more than a uh, hundred uh, national major projects. So, and uh, has jointly uh, carried out core technology research within, uh, with the leading companies in the uh, microelectronics industry. So uh, the accumulated research findings are sh uh, shown uh, here. So you can see uh, from year to year, so we are the fundings are increasing. Uh, so you can see, and the, for the SCI papers, uh, for the uh, pu published SCI papers are the uh, good uh, index for our researchability. So you can see it's also increasing dramatically year by year. <clears throat> so our school, uh, besides our the 
the the the findings and our our papers, and we we also focusing on uh, the international uh, community. So here shows the, some uh, some pictures for of the international conferences we have we have uh, held uh, previously. So we uh, so you can see there are, there are four examples, but we have more. So those conferences uh, are supported by our uh, 111 inter uh, intelligent introduced space. So based on that, our school has developed an international partnership and carried out uh, the substantive cooperation in uh, many areas like teaching, uh, scientific research, and uh, other fields uh, to 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 uh, to make our school the world leading uh, school. So the scientific research directions uh, mainly include the three modules. So the first one is called devices, uh, materials, and the processes. So uh, maybe I'll just uh, uh, go, go through the, the slides to introduce what is that. So the device, devices, materials, and processes are the necessary ways uh, to realize the realization of information terminal electronic electronic equipment and are the fundamentals the, the foundation of uh, for the development of the electric electronic information industry and our intelligent systems this direction is a multidisciplinary uh, frontier research field which involves electronics machinery materials physics uh, chemistry biology uh, med medicine and other disciplines and technologies. So the second one is called integrated circuit design and EDA. So this direction really uh, are the uh, for the needs of the information technology for the diverse diverse uh, file uh, fun functional chips and the modules and for the country's major strategy needs in communicate in communications, uh, Internet of Things. Artificial intelligence and et cetera, uh, to develop the AI chips, uh, mixed uh, signal integrated circuits, uh, system on chip, and also uh, EDA research on technology, on brain like compu computing chips and et cetera. Uh, the characteristic and advantage of the research direction includes uh, application uh, specific integrated circuits, AI computing chips, uh, new generation EDA technology. Uh, chip security technology, uh, biomedical uh, hybrid integrated chips and system, etc. So the third one is called uh, micro systems and packaging and testing. So this is also a very important and interesting uh, direction. So it it is the fundamental and support for the new round of ind industrial uh, revolution and the development of the integrated circuit industry. So it involves the integrated circuit device model source uh, modulation, high efficiency, uh, synthetic transmission, low noise reception, uh, package design, package integrate at a time array, and self package designs and etc. So those are the research directions for our professors uh, have been summarized into this, this following directions. So I have a brief introduced one by one. So the first direction is called RF interconnect and uh, perception chip uh, microsystems. So in this direction, so we have many uh, many uh, res uh, re results and we have uh, many SEA papers published. So we have many research uh, milestones in this direction. So uh, focusing on uh, the following. Uh, uh, several sub directions. The first one is millimeter wave radar and communication telehealth imaging. So you can see there we have built, we have uh, make uh, our own chips and systems, and uh, we have uh, have the radars and the imaging systems and so on. So another uh, sub direction is the CMOS uh, compatible telehealth source detector and array imaging. So based on this sub-direction, we have also uh, results uh, many, many uh, novel chips. And you can see uh, there are uh, many uh, successful uh, chip uh, like IC design as uh, the circuit design. So uh, the the results are published uh, on the most uh, popular uh, journals. 
So in this first direct, a very good test platform, so which can support uh, very much for your uh, research. So this is the Asia's the premier microbial terahertz test platform. So it, it can support the whole chain test and analyze analysis uh, from the devices, circuit systems to applications. So there are some sub uh, sub uh, sub sub uh, test platforms uh, equipment showing here. So we have the vector uh, network analyzer and so on. And the second direction is called image sensor chip and systems. So in this uh, direction, so you can uh, you can see we mainly focus on the CMOS image sensor chips. So we have uh, in this direction we have several sub uh, directions. Uh, such as the microelectronics technology and analog integrated circuits, digital integrated circuits, uh, system chip design, uh, the image signal uh, processing algorithm, and so on. So in this direction, so this is achievement. So you can see we can, we have already have the the build our design our own chips that can maximum scanning frame rate is uh, forty thousand frames per second. It's very very high, uh, very high uh, results and the power. Consumption is only 300 uh, milliwatts. It's a very, very small consumption. So it's a very, very good chip. So in the third direction, sensor system. So in this uh, in this direction, so we have the following two sub-directions. So one is the chip for robot sensing system. So in this direction, so the main purpose is to uh, do the uh, development trend of the digital intelligence perception of the robots. So the, the research are focusing on the mixed signal integrated circuit chips design technology. And uh, we have many, many results showing here. So in this uh, robot, robot sensing system direction, so we have built our own chips shown here. So very good testing results are here. So the, another sub direction in this uh, direction three is the multi-sensor fusion and information extraction technology. So you can see from in this direction, the the, uh, the main focus is the application requirements of the effective information extraction and the visualism, uh, visualization. So the research are mainly focusing on the design technology of the wave waveform processing algorithm based on the machine learning and so on. So you can see this uh, this the results some results figures shown here. So in the first direction, the first direction is. It's called human hardware security. So in this direction, basis, uh, basically, so we are focusing on uh, to uh, to develop the chips uh, like uh, uh, behavior based on the, our own brain, our human brain. So it's very interesting uh, direction. The, the our key research, including the no. this following uh, sub angles, so based on the FPGA platform. And we develop the low power, high speed in, in, uh, digital integrated circuit design method, and and also we develop the uh, very specific algorithms using the parallel uh, algorithms and also artificial intelligence and so on. So the, the next the sub direction is called the deep learning in network hardware acceleration. So in this sub direction, so basically we uh, we we development the convolutional neural network you are showing here. So it's a kind of a, a very popular neural network structure uh, using for the image uh, processing. And we have the uh, this develop this this kind of type of neural networks. So uh, to to use the hardware acceleration to do that. And the following is the fifth direction. So the fifth direction is called macro and the nano electronic materials and the devices. So in this direction, so basically we have the two sub directions. So one is the silicon based the nanoware sensors and the sensor array for uh, integrated applications. So in this direction, we need uh, we are focusing on the realization of the silicon based integrated gas sensor for the portable and uh, wearable applications. So, and the, ne the next one is the new sensitive materials and sensitive uh, mechanism of sensors. So basically this is the uh, discovering the theory part uh, of the sensors. And the sixth direction is the passive RF sensing and network system. 
So in the six directions, so basically we have the positioning technology and chip in implementation, and we have the cognitive uh, anti-jamming technology and the chip implementation. So basically uh, it has used the, the RFID technology to uh, to indicate uh, the position of the the, the various uh, uh, things like uh, you can indicate the position of the human and you can uh, indicate the position of uh, other other things you are interested in. And the seventh direction is called uh, digital image uh, processing algorithm and the vision system. So in this direction, so we use the intelligent information uh, process to build the intelligent information system. So we need uh, in this uh, direction, so we are focusing on the uh, following parts like uh, such as the signal filtering and identification, multimedia com uh, compression coding, uh, video uh, retrieval and the other algorithms and so on. And the next one is the, 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 the last one is the direction eight. So which is the biomedical chip and the uh, microsystems. So this direction focusing on how to uh, uh, build a very, uh, very new and novel uh, artificial intelligence chips to uh, to do the to do the uh, like uh, bi uh, to focusing on the bio bi biology uh, purpose. So, for example, using on the uh, health uh, to examine the healthcare and the other things uh, to uh, make uh, analyze and uh, diagnosis. So following is our future plan uh, of the research direction, di directions. So based on the previous introduced of the eight uh, current directions, so we have also have the plans of the, our future directions. So currently it's like we are uh, at the post more area and we need to build this, the, the circuit and chips uh, based on uh, that, that directions. So also, we need to focusing on some artificial intelligence directions to our to fit our modern society, and we need we have some also have some uh, very very uh, frontier directions such as the quantum chips. So it's very very interesting. So that's all for the, my introduction of our school of microelectronics. So finally, I welcome everyone uh, to join us. Thank you very much. Okay, um, thank you, uh, Professor Fong. Thank you for your uh, impressive uh, sharing. Uh, I believe that uh, most of you guys uh, have developed a deeper understanding of uh, the school of uh, microelectronics, like, uh, you know, the, some uh, uh, direction of the scientific research, like the millimeter wave radar chip for robot uh, sensing system. Uh, it's cool. So um, in the next part, uh, we warmly welcome uh, Professor Tan, uh, who is the Dean of uh, School of Electrical and Information Engineering, and uh, he will share the uh, relevant uh, academic knowledge for us. So welcome. Hi, thank you. Hi. I'll share my screen. Okay. Sorry, it's, uh, okay. Mm. <coughs> okay. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah, of course. Okay. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for uh, joining this session. I will introduce a uh, school of electrical and information information engineering my name is tan chao i'm uh, the dean of the school <clears throat> i think many of you know that the history of the university can be traced back to the year of 1895 it was called Bayan university back then and uh, you can see many old pictures in here and it is the first modern higher educational institution in china and that's the emblem of uh, of the Bayan University and the first uh, college diploma in China. And this one is a new one. It's a new emblem of uh, our university. So you can see on the 
uh, right up corner of my slice. We have two campers. Uh, one is in uh, one is called the uh, old campers, or we also call the Weijin Road campers, which is in the uh, city center. And uh, we also have a new campers, uh, Beiyang Yuan campers. Uh, that is outside of the city, uh, but it's not very far away. Our school is in the old campers, and the name of the school is uh, School of Electrical and Information Engineering. So you can see we have merely two parts. One part is about electrical engineering. The other part is about information engineering. So here's the pictures. Here are the pictures of our school. And our history uh, can be traced back to the year of 1933, as the Department of Electrical Engineering of the Beiyang University. So the next year will be our 90, uh, 90 years of the anniversary. So we'll have a, a big celebration of our uh, 90 years uh, birthday. And we have four academic departments that is for the uh, uh, undergraduate students' education. One is called Electrical Engineering Department. And uh, this is the biggest one. And one is the Automation Department. I'm from this department. And one is the combination uh, communication engineering department. It's mainly about the IT technology and communications. And the last one is electronic uh, information engineering department, which is, also, is about the information processing. We also have three experimental teaching centers. We, in those centers, the teachers are responsible for the uh, teachings, like uh, general courses, and some fundamental courses, and also for the experimental te teaching classes. So we have one is electrical and electronic uh, teaching center, and the sec second one is electrical and information specialty center, and also the modeling electric and electronic center. <clears throat> uh, our school has a faculty more than 300, and includes 71 professors and more than 100 associate professors and uh, 40 some lecturers. And our structure in the academic structure, we have three disciplines. One is electrical engineering. Uh, the second one is control science and engineering. The third one is the information and communication engineering. So you can see these, the first one, uh, that's the uh, first level discipline. For the second level discipline, we also have five uh, uh, sub-level uh, discipline that includes electrical engineering and automation, electric machinery and electric operators, high voltage, power electronics, and, uh, and the uh, emerging technology. And for the second, control theory and engineering, this is where I come from. Well, we have three sub-disciplines. The first one is control theory and control engineering, which is about the uh, uh, applying the, developing the new theories about the control process, like uh, uh, process control or motor control, and also the some applications of the control theories in the engineering engineering field. And the second is about in, in, uh, about detection technologies and automatic devices, which is about the instrument the instrumentation and, me and measurement. And it's about the sensors, the uh, measurement systems, and how to acquire the information or data from the process. And the third one is the pattern recognition and intelligence systems. So judging from the name, you, you can see in this uh, sub-discipline, the uh, faculties studying the uh, the uh, theory and algorithm of the pattern recognition and, and, and the application and development of the intelligent systems. And for the third discipline, um, it has two uh, sub-disciplines. One is communication and information systems, and the second one is second on information processing. So it's, it's quite different structure for the undergraduate students. Uh, students are uh, admitted to the four departments. That's for undergraduate students. And for the graduate students, like masters and the PhD students, they are admitted to the different the three disciplines. So it's a different structures for for the school. And for our yearly admission on the master level, we have about four hundred and eighty students each year. And for the PhD students, we have about uh, uh, one hundred twenty PhD students each year. And for the the staff and the uh, faculty, we have two admissions of the Chinese Academy of Engineering, which is on the very top level of, of academic staff of academic faculties in uh, in China. And also one admission from of the Russian Ac Academy of Engineering. And we also have many 
uh, reputable researchers like Yangtze River scholar professor and many uh, um, uh, young professor, uh, many distinguished young scholars. And we have uh, uh, in total we have uh, uh, more than four thousand students. So we are the biggest school in Tianjin University in terms of scale of of students. So we have half of the students are the undergraduate student and the other half are the graduate students. And for the research, we have very strong research areas crossly integrated within three disciplines. And the first, uh, we have four areas. The first one is about smart, smart energy and smart fleet, uh, which is about the, uh, uh, the electronic, uh, the, the electrical engineering. And the second one is complex process measurement. It's about control uh, for, for, for detection and, and instrumentation. The third one is brilliant uh, perception and information rendering. So it's more about the uh, information technology and information processing. And the last one is autonomous system and intelligent automation. And this is also from the control theory. Uh, it's about the uh, automatic uh, vehicles, uh, uh, UAVs and drones like that. And we also have an emerging technology application platform and also other platforms to support the development of the research uh, from these four different areas. Uh, let me break the break them down into uh, details. The first one is a smart energy and a smart grid. Uh, it has many technical areas. So it's most about the, uh, the, the the smart grid in China, we have carried out a very a large amount of research on developing the smart grid in China. So the research area includes electrical systems, safety and stability, and the large scale renewable resource, integrated energy system, and, and the microgrid. And I have to mention the microgrid is also very good in, in Tianjin University. We are leading, actually we are in the leading role of the research in microgrid in China. And the fourth area is the power system protection and control. And the last one is energy storage system. And this one is also very important. This is an emerging area uh, we, uh, which has been paid very, very focused attention from the very high level of uh, of, of, of the uh, of China and also the university. We have built a new platform called the uh, Energy Storage uh, Platform, and uh, they carry out the it's it's a cross discipline platform. I think there there are many very reputable professors from different departments and different schools to join that platform to develop the. Uh, the technologies on energy storage systems. And so far we have won four state prize. And uh, uh, we also have the research lab. We also have one uh, key lab uh, for smart grid that is on the level of Ministry of, Engine of, of, of Education. And we have one state joint engineering center. And we have four the national research and direction centers at uh, the development centers and seven municipal research labs uh, and engineering centers. And for the for, for this part, we have many researches. Outcomes have design detection support system and the implement implementations have covered more than 80% cities in China it has been applied successfully applied in a number of energy supply zones with very high reliability and for the microgrid research as i mentioned is uh, at least it's in the leading role in the research of microgrid in china and they also have uh, we also have a world leading microgrid laboratory located in our school which provides a high end microgrid systems for uh, more than 30 enterprises and engineering infrastructures such as the uh, state grade. And we have very tight collaborations with uh, these leading companies in the electrical uh, engineering and energy companies in China. And there were many demonstration projects in China about the smart grid and uh, a micro grid, uh, like in Zhuhai, in Zhejiang, uh, in Guangdong, and Yunnan, and there were many places. And for the second research direction is about the complex process measurement. So that's where I'm from. Uh, we have a state key level discipline on the measurement techniques and automatic devices. And uh, the specialty is about the measurement of a very complex process 
uh, with with different combination of fluids. We call it multi-phase flow. So this is more like a combination of different fluids flowing together in the pipe. Uh, we have a world leading research and laboratories and have won more than 100 state level key projects from um, NSFC and uh, the Ministry of Science and Technology. And it is built based on a municipal key lab of uh, Tianjin. And we have f- uh, two or three international joint research and development center of Tianjin to support the development uh, of this laboratory. And there were many new instrumentation and sensing test systems developed by our faculty in this area. And we have developed advanced and intelligent sensing systems and funded by over 100 projects from uh, uh, the government or also from the industries. You can see this is one of the pictures. The whole system was developed by our faculty from uh, a basic component of uh, sensors to the software. So students in here can learn how to build a sensing system from uh, uh, from sensors to uh, the sensing systems uh, to the uh, PCBs and also the, the, the software. And we also apply the uh, intelligent the, uh, artificial intelligence in uh, such a sensing uh, tasks. So you can see we can visualize the complex process in such uh, a non-transparent pipes. And this can give uh, a very clear images and information about the process. And for the flow, it's more about the energy flow measurement. And you know, the oil and the gas uh, is the key energy fluids in the world. So this area focusing on measure the energy flows in the uh, development and also in transportation. And here's an example about the energy flow measurement in shale gas and the undersea, the natural gas exploration and the transportation. So here is a, a, a compact meter. It can replace a metering station and can um, have been, has been uh, reported by over 20 technology medias. And so this is a very advanced medium te- uh, metering, metering technology. And we also have the, wor- the world first and what underwater a white gas meter uh, deployed at uh, 500 meters underwater and uh, is certi- certificated by CCS. And apart from the process measurement, we also have the development on the uh, uh, biomedical engineering, like electrical and ultrasound sensors for uh, uh, biomedic- biomedical engin- uh, imaging. So we can, we can we can develop the new portable devices to measure the biomedical information of human body and for medical diagnosis purpose. And we also have an intelligent manufacturing system for large scale production. This is for the uh, for the experiments of undergraduate students' uh, research, uh, undergraduate experiments for their class uh, studies. And for the third part, it's called a brain-inspired perception and information rendering. And as we all know, it is an important trend of artificial artificial intelligence. And one of the areas is about brain-inspired information processing. And it's more like a human-like in cognitive behavior. So in this area, our faculty and professors developed intelligence sensing and processing and ranging systems. We developed the algorithms and we deployed the algorithms in a, a real manufacturing and a real uh, a scenario where the, uh, uh, the the intelligence information processing is needed. And in this area, we have won uh, three first prizes of a provincial and a ministry of science and technology awards. And so just uh, from yesterday, we, we got some news. We have the, the fourth uh, first prize in this area. And as you can see, we, we, our, 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 our professor developed a long, very long range of um, sound perception uh, technology, which can percept uh, a sound over 100 meters away. And we also study the uh, SDR display techniques so that we can enhance the image, the display of the image on your cell phone. And we also developed the uh, the uh, uh, image processing instruments for the underwater uh, cameras. It's supported by the national major scientific research instrumentation per- projects and also the key projects of the NISFC. As you can see, this is the underwater image processing. You can see from the blurred image into a very clear image that is for the underwater camera. And we have also developed a LIDAR for national major research projects. 
and a high precision long range measurements technology and is has been uh, de- deployed on the uh, uh, different marine service ships uh, many marine service ships are carrying our uh, instruments for the marine discoveries and uh, scientific research in northeast and the south china sea regions and in this area uh, we also teach students how to develop the embedded systems like the SP system of PGA and DSP plus of PGA's architecture like Zinc chips, and also develop the image processing systems and Internet of Things. We have uh, an undergraduate major called Internet of Things, and students can learn how to develop the Internet of Things like uh, or the network of sensors. And we have many industrial collaborators such as TI and Huawei, and they all are collaborators in developing uh, different algorithms for the on-chip information processing. And for the last area is about the autonomous systems and intelligent automation. So this one is from uh, this area is uh, across discipline areas. We have collaboration with the School of uh, Mechanical Engineering and also um, uh, uh, professors from different disciplines to, to jointly develop the unmanned system for the underwater robots. <clears throat> so you can see on the left, that's the world's first multi-joint biomimetic deep sea robot. It is a powerful tool for deep sea hybrid area uh, exploitation. And this one is uh, a snake robot. It now has the record of the highest speed in in the land, and also it can swim in the water. It's an um, um, uh, amphibious snake robot, so it, is, it has the second highest underwater speed in the world. And this one is the real experimental demonstration near our old campers, and we have four lakes in the campers, in the low old campers. So that's a robot, not a snake. And for the uh, autonomous robots, we also have developed the uh, first mobile robot for leakage source research uh, in the large scale environments. So you can see this is the real experiments in our uh, sports field. We have two football fields for uh, uh, for students to play football on, and one was used for the experiments. So you can see uh, the here is the the aut- autonomous robots. It can smile, sense at uh, the gas from different locations so they can automatically track the source of the gas leak and it has been successfully applied in the natural gas pipeline inspection in China and on the right side is the one of the best multi-joint pipeline robots in the world and you can see it's uh, a robot climbing inside of the pipeline so it can be used for um, pipeline inspections and also a rescue uh, for some area where people or human cannot uh, crunch through. Uh, so it has been successfully applied in China and Japan uh, for the pipe inspection. Uh, it's very efficient if it carries sensors so it can give the uh, uh, inspect the uh, in- integrity of the pipeline. And here is the multi UAVs, uh, that's drones, uh, autonomous, autonomous exploration. You can see there are many drones flowing together and so they can uh, gave multi drones a simultaneous location at the mapping. So there are many drones uh, located, uh, uh, sensing the environment so they can form a map and also can provide the real-time motion planning. And it is called the op- uh, cooperative control. And this is the uh, experiments in the campus as well. And also, we have another robot. It's more like a, a lizard-like robot, which can not only swim in the water, but can also move on the ground, like glassland. So it's, uh, uh, I think it's it, 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 it's also in our school, uh, outside our school. So that's the testing the robots. And for the labs and platforms, so that's the full research areas. For the labs and platforms, we have uh, a key laboratory of the Ministry of Education on smart grids. And we also have four attention key laboratories. One is on electrical power system simulation and control. One is on process control and measurement. Uh, One is on uh, 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 smart grid. And we also have um, a few international joint research and development centers uh, to support the development of the research. Okay, 
And we have carried out a very tight collaborations with international partners. Uh, we have collaborative research activities, ongoing research activities uh, uh, with Cambridge University, Imperial College of London, uh, Sweden, and Cardiff, Oxford, uh, that's in Europe, and also with the uh, uh, Alberta uh, in uh, Cornell, Stanford, uh, UCRA, and uh, Victoria in 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 America, and we have published joint publications in the world leading journals. I think more than one, maybe more than one hundred uh, uh, papers a year. That is for the uh, joint publications. I think over about one third of the publications published publications in in our school is uh, are the joint publications with our research international research collaborators, and we have many international events held. Uh, annually uh, on, in, in campus, uh, that's before the COVID uh, situation. But I, I, we are confident that international events will be back uh, after the COVID uh, situation. And we have also published many special issues in world leading journals uh, that is organized by our uh, uh, professors. Uh, here are some pictures that we have, uh, are the pictures of the symposiums and the Congress and the uh, conferences held, international conferences held by us, and some of them are by uh, are in the in 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 the campus, and some of them are in the hotel in the city. So that is uh, what I want to share with you. Uh, thank you for your time, and uh, welcome to join the School of Electrical and Information Engineering, and hope to see you in the campus. Uh, thank you. <laughs>